What's up, y'all? It's your girl Beyonce, or should I say Jayonce? Because that's what this hair is giving me, honey. Jayonce. Hi, my name is Baby J, and if you didn't know, I'm a psychic, and I can see spirits and ghosts and angels and whatever you want. Okay? I am connected to the other side. Yay! If you haven't seen my previous video, please go check it out. I came out the closet. I'm now long, no long. I, I'm now no longer a closeted weirdo. I'm out in the open now. So. Yes, I'm magical, mystic mommy. Call me mystic mommy, okay? Yeah, other than that, what's up, guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing once again. If you haven't been here before, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, seriously, honey, you don't want to get rid of me once you start with me, okay? I'm here for you. You can be here for me, and it could just be a cool-ass relationship. Okay. I'm sorry if you hear, like, a bunch of noise. Like, the, there's, like, the windows are, like, open, and I don't know how to close them, so... <laughs> a lot of people really wanted me to sit down and just talk to you guys about you know stories my stories dealing with spirit because I have a plethora of stories okay yeah I'm just gonna tell you guys like a couple stories in the video and it could just turn into a series of just like me talking to you about ghost stories and spirit stories and the hauntedness and honestly I'm not too scared of spirit I personally believe that you know all of us we're spirits we're all spirits we all have souls we're just in human bodies I also don't believe that spirits are necessarily always here to harm us I feel like it's just the other side you know like here there's some bad badass people but there's some people that you know are pretty evil and do really evil things and then there's people that do amazing things and there's people in between I think that's how the other side is like so yeah but I'm going to tell you guys some of the positive and negative experiences I have involving spirits I'm going to start off talking about my experiences in my own door room I said dorm room. What is a dorm room? In my dorm room. Okay, I'm in college. I go to school in Cali. LMU, go Lions. Let's go. Okay, so this is when I was first really getting into the whole seeing and feeling and all types of spirits things. I remember I had sensed that a spirit was in my dorm room, right? How you sense that a spirit is in your dorm room is kind of similar to how you can kind of sense that someone's staring at you. You can feel somebody staring at you when you can't see them but you know somebody's staring at you. It's kind of like that. So I felt that spirit was in the room and I also usually get tingling or get ringing in my ears. And at this point, you know, I was just kind of over the whole seeing spirit things. I didn't necessarily want to see spirit because it kind of freaked me out. They, I felt like they were just there for no reason and they just wanted to, you know, like, just annoy me. So I was like, you know, like, I'm sitting in my room yelling like a crazy person at nothing. That's what it, that's what it looks like, but I know spirit was in there, right? Leave me alone! If you're not gonna do anything nice, then just leave! Just leave! I don't know why you're here! Just leave me alone! Go away! I'm gonna call this spirit auntie. So after I was yelling at auntie, I decided to go down the hallway and I was gonna go down the hallway so that I can use the bathroom but before I left out of my room I made sure I, I put the lock on my door so that the door could stay open so I didn't have to bring my key with me because I'll just be right back right so I go to the bathroom I come back and guess what the door is locked oh my god so I was so pissed off because I left my key in there and I left my cell phone and my roommate just left to go home right I was like all right well I guess I gotta call PSAFE and PSAFE at my school is called public safety so I called public safety hey um I got locked out my room can somebody please come and open the door the lady's like oh my god yes yeah, sure we will send somebody right away I was like all right bet I don't really know nobody like that like that in my dorm floor so I decided to just sit outside my room and just you know just just chill because honestly I was having a long hard day I was getting frustrated like I had to carry like a hundred boxes like for like 30 minutes long and I was doing all this work and it was just it was too much okay so as I was just sitting there just irritated I see a golden flash now I'm starting to associate golden flashes with angelic type beings like beings that are you know nice and pleasant I saw the golden flash and I was just like Oh my god, you're still here. Leave me alone, right? Then I was like, okay, you want me to talk to you? Fine, I'll try to talk to you. So I sat myself down and I, med I started meditating. And now when I was meditating, I started getting these random killer ideas. Not just like really good ideas. I'm talking about monumental, mind-blowing, change the whole world ideas, right? After I got those ideas and I was still laying outside in my dorm room, I was just like, okay, you have a point. I randomly picked up on another conversation that was going on down the hall. L the girl literally said, yeah, you see, because of all your complaining, that's what you get. 
she was talking to her friend, but I randomly picked up on that. You see, that's how spirit talks to you. That's how spirit works. Whoever it was really, really, really wanted me to understand that I need to take those ideas and make them into something amazing. Listen to your intuition. When you get those random ideas that pop in your head, like light bulbs, that's not for no reason. Make sure you go for it. Take charge of your life. Just go for it. That is not for no reason. Spirit is trying to connect to you. Whatever you want to call it. God, universe is trying to talk to you and trying to tell you that you need to do this and you're a special human being, okay? Um, another time that I was in my dorm room, I was just in my room all day basically, not really doing much. All day, I was just having memories about my house and my home and my, my hometown, right? I was skipping on having these random memories memories about my home just pop up in my head and it was crazy because I'm from Maryland and Maryland's known for their crabs right I swear to God I could taste crabs in my mouth that's how crazy this was anyway I'm just sitting there chilling right you know just thinking of all my memories cool and then I do my homework and then you know a couple hours later I decided to go to sleep as I was about to go to sleep literally right when I laid down I saw something in the corner of my eye and it looks kind of like a shadow and I was like uh-huh that's crazy that's cool I'm not staying up I'm not getting creeped out today I'm going to sleep I got an 8 a.m. in the morning girl so I didn't see that, but <laughs> trying to be in denial and shit. Kind of similar to when you look at the ground when it's really, really hot and you see those heat waves. Yeah, it was like a shadow heat wave. And I was like, okay, that's nice. Literally, as soon as I saw that, my roommate has um, string lights on her wall. As soon as I saw the um, being, the lights just cut on. Literally, I'm staring at those lights and I just felt so happy. Like the lights just looked so amazing. They looked trippy and I started to just get happy for no reason and just feeling wonderful and, and also thinking about home. And then when I went to sleep at night, I had a bunch of dreams about home. Whoever that being was, I feel like they were somebody that I'm I'm close to or that they know me. They've been with me for a long ass time. They know what's good. For some reason, they really wanted me to think about home. So honestly, I just want to record these experiences. This is kind of going to be like my video diary. I have a journal that I write in every time I experience something, you know, spiritual or metaphysical. I write it down in a journal. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to tell y'all about all these experiences. Gonna whoever listens, I hope you enjoy these. I hope you like it you know i hope you guys have a wonderful day make sure you like comment share subscribe it's your girl baby j and you know i love you guys so i'll see y'all later bye